And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Renekton. One last deck to kind of try out to see how I like it for maybe the seasonal tournament. What I really like about this list is we get to play the list. <laughs> this card is pretty awesome. Zero mana, slow speed, grant an enemy vulnerable. But if that en enemy already had a vulnerable, then instead the strongest ally starts a free attack challenging it. Pretty awesome card to have with both champions. Both champions love getting free attacks and challenging, especially Renekton loves that that challenge, getting that plus two, plus one. But Sivir with quick attack, also a great thing at challenging. And we have a lot of ways to give things vulnerable first before the list. We're going to have Hired Gun. We're going to have Rock Hopper. We're going to have Merciless Hunter and even Exhaust if we want to like use two cards in that route. So could be pretty cool. We'll also have Citrus Courier to heal our allies and rally and get some more extra attacks that way. And we're just going to be pretty aggressive. We'll have like Mega Rain at two mana as well. Treasure Seekers in here with the Waking Sands. The Waking Sands are great at, at uh, challenging, right? Like we can make things vulnerable and then play like a 5-2 to challenge. Pretty awesome there. So yeah, cool little deck here. Fun deck to play. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Sivir Renekton. I haven't played Renekton in a while. Here we go. Sparky, I'm doing great today. Doing great today. Uh, started off a little rough, first two decks. But we picked it up with Ezreal Swain. And so feeling good. I think we're just gonna keep this hand. Preservarium, I could see ditching, because right, like we're gonna go round one butcher, round two rock hopper, round three hunter. Um But I I feel like we could run out of cards, right? Like that's we could run out of cards, so maybe we keep this. Preservarium, but the Preservarium may be a card that we're just never really able to play also. So could be good, could be bad. We of course want to find our champion, so maybe I should be mulligating this and looking for a champion. So we have two Preservariums in the deck, that's it. And so second pre you know, drawing second pre Preservarium immediately, not ideal. Ah, uh, really? That make I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying really because they have the Rock Hopper, that Maker Rain would have been good against that Rock Hopper. So I, of course, passed because they they want me to play something to be able to challenge. I'm kind of doing the same thing. Giving them the opportunity to play something for me to challenge. Alright, we'll just go to 14. All that glitter is mine. Could definitely see passing, you know, like, because if I pass, they're still at 17. They don't get to play the Sivir. I'm going to go ahead and do this right now. Um, okay, to kind of do like a Shapestone test. Like, I don't really want them to go to attacks, and then I do that, and then Shapestone. And then it's like a lot of damage coming in. Merciless, you know, I'm definitely thinking they have Merciless Hunter, right? I don't want to, like, play Sivir, they play Merciless Hunter kind of thing. But obviously now with the, this Roiling Sands, I don't want to do that anyway. Gonna make a meal of them. Yep, there's that. Business as usual. So I'm kind of be worried about Twin Disciplines if I'm going... Sivir here, let this happen. I want to keep the shapes down available to be able to fight off Twin Disciplines. Barriers are always a problem. 
You know, lifesteal barrier, that card. It's always a problem. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. We'll get our licks in! And that's why I saved the Shape Stone instead of just killing the Merciless Hunter last round. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. Sivir is just so good. It's just worth it. <laughs> it's just a lot of cards. It's three cards for one. But I mean, it's, you know, it's their best champion. And obviously, if they have another Twin Disciplines... Danger pace. That's a problem, but it's just worth it. Three out of four. So is it worth playing Ricochet? Or just have a new leveled up Sivir next round? Maybe just the new leveled up Sivir next round? Yeah, because this one's just got a permanent vulnerable. Steady now. I'm playing Treasure Seekers, right? That card's good. I'm playing that card, right? Yeah, I got three of them. We just have four champions over here. It's the thing about this deck, you just get to play so many champions. Gonna find a gift for an acting! Right, Arda! Out here, you're moving or you're dead. That's right! Run! But I want to do this. my best blocker. If that last card does even more damage, if it's just plus three, plus three, plus three. Okay, it's only plus one. So many plus threes. The real treasure is friendship. Nah, it's the gold. Lulu Z, it's the same kind of thing. A bunch more twin disciplines and rallies and stuff like that. Okay, I like make it rain. We're keeping butcher, make it rain. Hunter. The list. I think I'm gonna send the list back back. Oh no, it's a zero man card's kind of cool. I, I want some champions. There you go. There's a champion. Alright, so now while I could play Butcher on one, I kind of feel like I can play like Mega Rain on two then and plus Butcher. Yeah, great call. Great call not playing that here. Come on, play another 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. one mana, 2-1. Treasure Seeker. Wait, you're not, you're not a streamer. Play another Fleet Feather Tracker. Off we yeah, go. Let's well, do bad. All right. Well, still want to kill that Fleet Feather Tracker. Suns beneath me and winds behind. 
behind me. So you get to play Zed after I attack. Give me a sweet bug. Too stupid. Gonna catch the sky. All right, cool. Everything's better with company. Says you. Hey, that was the card I was just thinking about. I was like, you know what would be a good draw right now? It would be another Make It Rain. Okay. I was just thinking that. challenge there. I'll stop you. It's not really worth a shape stone. This could go poorly for me. I would like now I'd like to draw the list, right? Like I want a free challenge. <laughs> okay, well I guess we get Renekton. So they have rallies, they have like ghost rally, like all that kind of nonsense. I guess we'll lose. They have a whole bunch of that nonsense. Hopefully not though. That's worth it, because if that is a rally, if I don't do this, this we die. Oh. Please don't be a rally, just pass the round. Viego Callista. Viego Callista. So I got punished for, for mulliganing the list, right? Like I needed to keep that that the list. Um the list would have been very good of like the getting the free attack. So good to know with a, a really fast matchup like that where you gotta kill stuff. Um Yeah, I should have kept the list. Cause also that would have been just really good to have on like the round three if they would have played, you know, like champion at like I attack, they play champion, then I merciless hunter it, then the list. Yeah, so should have kept that. Anywho, this hand looks pretty good. The shape stone could go, maybe. I guess I'll keep it to go along with the Renekton. Bingo. If they are a Withering Whale deck, I will be sad. Or even just Vile Feast. Of course, they're only waiting on uh, having the Renekton challenge that. I'm glad I didn't waste an exhaust. Thought about exhausting the Greenglade Lookout. 
Claro, identidad. Okay, we'll kill that thing with the 5 2. Gently, gently. <laughs> Basically, went Hunter over Renekton so that I didn't have to use my exhaust as well. Beyond. Maybe we should have another Preservarium in here. The Preservarium was pretty good that first game. Better than what I expected. The shapes, the shape stones have been worse than expected. They've been kinda worthless. Kinda. Yeah, I mean, I just don't have anything to do this round. <laughs> Like I could play a 2-2 Jagged Butcher. That's not very exciting. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I understand the shape stones to help me push damage, but I don't know if that's the best use of a slot whenever I could be playing, um, like, Renekton's Champion spell instead of, like, Ruthless Predator. Right integration is interesting. So that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd have seven mana. So my plan is Renekton challenge that thing. Have right negation protect Ren Renekton. And then Citrus Courier. Attack again. So you get multiple attacks with uh, that shape stone. So it's gonna attack for 13. 13 should be lethal. And I got ride negation just in case. Unless they have twin disciplines, I guess, but hopefully not. Damage. All right. Okay, so Shapestone did its thing, helped me get exact lethals. Never mind, shouldn't complain about it. Timo Ezreal. Let's get some free attacks. Yeah, story events. Are, now this deck has fun play patterns. Exactly. All right, so you're gone, and I guess the thing is, is like I'm gonna want to challenge Teemo. So I do I have to keep this to try to challenge Teemo? No, we have like make it rains and everything. Let's get. I want attackers, right? Like this kind of matchup. Like you just need bodies, and you got to be real aggressive. That's what I want. All right, we got a higher gun that can take down a Teemo. Like if it's round one Teemo, because round one Teemo gets under Rock Hoppa. 
Um, let's pray for no static shock. No static shock. No time winder. Interesting. So they have Elixir of Iron. Or Brittle Steel. One of the two. I've got a price. The list. So I did want to like try to block with the Rock Hopper before and have them use their Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron and get their top unit plus one plus one. You know, get that ability on there. But you know, now they have the Puff Cap Peddler. There's no way you would bluff with how valuable Starless here is. There's just no way you would want to bluff. As usual. So it's not Brittle Steel, because if it was Brittle Steel, they would just bust up the Spell Shield and then Brittle Steel. So it's gotta be Elixir of Iron. Stands beneath me and winds behind me. The mumps do not be yodel in uniform. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Woohoo! Alright, so they have Elixir of Iron, so that would get that to 6 health. So let's go... Oh, I can't pull that thing. Okay, it was Brittle Steel, so why didn't they troll champ Brittle Steel? I guess... I don't know, maybe they have both. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't bust up the spell shield, why they gave like the minus two to the rock hopper. Just in general, like there's just no reason to do that, but whatever. It's all good. Don't blink or you'll miss me. <sighs> Close my eyes, but you're still here. Hmm. I guess anything could happen. Five damage randomly, maybe three to Ezreal, maybe three to Peddler, maybe five to them. I go where the trouble is. It's never too far. So it looks like... Okay, so two to them, two to Ezreal, one to Chumplump. I mean, there's. I just don't do damage to them. I'm just not gonna be doing damage to them. Where I go, carnage follows. Because if I do damage to them, they die. <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Like five of my two two challenge the five one, like I want. Like it's either if these hit them, they lose. So they probably won't hit them. So Citrus Courier post combat doesn't really help. My Siver should not have a spell shield right now, and that's. That's definitely helping me out. They, their troll chant from earlier should have just taken out the, the spell sh Like, they didn't do anything with it, so they could have taken out the spell shield from the server. Alright, we are three and one. We'll take it. Crack their bones, then we feast. Game, game. If we get this win, we'll definitely have enough LP for the seasonal tournament. 119 is probably enough, anyway. Maybe enough. 
one more and it's definitely enough. Okay, so this, let's keep the list and send the rest back. Keep a copy of the list. Yeah, plunder can be tough for Sivir. I don't think I trade because I'm holding Hired Gun. And now I'm still Sunter. Well, now I have to trade. I didn't want to trade. Monkeyaddle's just awesome. Like it's it's worth trading a shape stone for a monkey idol, right? Like that like that's all I'm doing right here is trading a shape stone for a monkey idol and that's worth it. That is worth it. Safety will cost. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. Heavy pockets, huh? For main purposes, how can I get three Tali on board without harrowing? Yeah, uh, Ancient Hourglass. Yeah, Ancient Hourglass is a great way to do it. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Okay, Renekton plus the list. Higher gun plus Waking Sands. Success. Get you noticed around here. I'll shoot the wings off a bill twice. Business as usual. Here is assistant. That's a dose. Bow to no one. I said Juani is so good against Sivir. That's too bad. Sivir would have been nice to have. Alright, they got eight mana, what are they gonna do? Citric citrus courier? So my strongest ally is actually the 6-4, not the Renekton. I don't not, nothing on my side is vulnerable right now. If they attack, I just don't have to block. I guess they're back to 17. This thing will be a 6 4. This isn't going to work. They take 4, go down to 13. Okay, so this happens. They take 4, go to 13. Then. Renekton challenge over here, that's 1, so 12, they block this, 6, 10, 12, exact lethal. Alright, good. So if they have nothing in hand, I have exact lethal. With their best blocks. Their best blocks on the 5-2. Oh, no, 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 their best blocks on the 6-3. Never mind, they go to one. Leave no 
Hmm, I gotta wonder. But such a one he said. Alright, well, they're still alive, but Sejuani's dead. Gross. Pain is nothing. We maybe open attack and kill them. Why is this thing attacking? I don't know why that thing's attacking. Oh, who did that? I was forged by winter. Never mind, we can't kill them. Man, we almost had him. We got him down to one. So close, come on, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. Hmm. Well, I guess we just kind of go for it and just hope they don't have... Any way to stop this, I guess. Came a long way. Nope. We still have one more draw that we could draw, make it rain. With luck, your bounty covers half a meal. I feel like I played that correctly. Because Sejuani can just be broken. One day they will suffer. Man, we were so close to being qualified for the seasonal tournament. That win, and we're definitely qualified. All right, so we ended up going three and two. Good record. I know it's a three and one. I'm not able to update it right now. It's kind of frozen. But three and two, still good record. Didn't quite get there. Um, that Citrus Courier that they grabbed from me to heal their Nexus 3, you know, because we got them down to 1 and they grabbed my Citrus Courier. Uh, that was rough. And they, you know, got a little bit more damage into that that round also because of that. But really just that that 3 extra health they healed. Um, I think my least favorite card was probably the Shape Stone. So I could see replacing that with something else. Or, you know, playing like 1 or 2 Shape, sto shape Stones, right? Maybe you don't need all three. We only have two Preservarium and three Rockhopper as far as landmarks go in the deck. So it's not like, you know, super likely that, that it's even going to do the plus three, plus one. Um, so that could be an option for something to change. Um, you could have like Hourglass to help protect your champions if you want uh, to go something like that, a little bit more defensive. Or you could play the, the other Preservarium. You could go Ruinous Path. You could go Ruthless Predator. Um, you know, maybe another exhaust, you know, you can do like those kind of things to help get in that extra damage. Also, even the absolver, that's not necessarily a bad card to have. Uh, if you get that leveled up, um, you know, you're leveled up Sivir. Like Sivir is not that difficult to level up and honestly, neither is Renekton. So maybe even a copy of the absolver too, instead of Shapestone, those, the, that's another option there too. There's just tons of options, of course, that you can play, um, but I'm not sure if Shapestone is the best one. But that was a cool uh, cool deck to play, fun one to play. I liked it a lot. I really like the list. I think that's a really cool of zero mana, uh, get your vulnerable in. You know, so we got two losses. Uh, our first loss, I think if I would have kept the list, I think we would have won it, and I mulliganed it away. Should have kept it. And then that, that second loss, super, super close. Really not that far off from a 5-0, you know, like one card here one card different in just two different games like we were so close to winning both of them that we ended up losing um so yeah so this was a this was a cool list this was this was awesome this was fun so i could definitely see playing this also so we got three decks to kind of choose from jarvan shen ezreal swain and sivir renekton i think that that's going to be our our finalists we're definitely playing vladimir brahm definitely playing twisted fate swain sorry twisted fate gangplank and then we just got to figure out the third deck after that all right, but that's going to be it here, though, for Sivir Renekton. So those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments and let me know what you think of this uh, list and which one of those three do you like the most? Do you like Jarvan Shen? Do you like Sivir Renekton? Do you like Ezreal Swain? I would love to hear which one y'all like because if there's one of those decks that y'all like a whole lot more, then I'll play that one because I feel pretty comfortable with all three. All right, but that's going to be it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.